All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to take the steering wheel off. I've talked about it, but I uh, actually have a perfect donor here to take the steering wheel off without damage. Um, you don't always get no damage. I mean, sometimes there's sometimes a, there's a little bit of uh, plastic hanging over the edge, and sometimes you can get damaged, but this has the least amount of damage potential by doing this without using the part number, whatever it is, puller by Volkswagen. First thing we want to do is take the horn button off. So we take that off. And go ahead and take this nut off here. Noise alert. In case there is. Uh, let's just see if it's loose. I never know. Of course not. No, it's on there. These are always on there really good. 24 millimeter nut for that. Then we need to take off this uh, turn signal switch. Okay, this thing came off. They put the wrong screws in. These are available, again, if you guys need these at Wellsburg West. They have those available, and they also have these little tiny screws with the right proper heads on them. So they have them, they're not expensive, and they sell them, I think they're in stainless steel, so you have to worry about them rusting again. So underneath your steering wheel, there's this ring right here, if it's on there. This little, uh, this is your turn signal return cancel. Okay, you take that one loose and let it set low like that. Uh, you know, if you get one that's not too tight, every once in a while what you can do is kind of sit underneath here and put your knees up on here and then hit the hit this part with the nut on it with the hammer while you're lifting up and every once in a while they'll just come off. But uh, most of the time I found they were just so tight. I've had some that were just so tight on there that it took a lot to get them off. So you have to use a puller like this. This is from Harbor Freight Tools. Um, it is, this is the part number. Okay. They have this gear puller. This is the gear puller set. It looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to assemble this thing. This is a normal gear puller. And usually you'll have this part going this way. But this time you're not going to want to hook it up that way. You want it, this to be upside down. I'll show you how it's done when you put it on. There's a lot of things you can do for this part. You can take baling wire and wrap this all around here really tight. Um, and what you're trying to do is put a spacer between this thing and the bottom of the steering, the center of the bottom of the steering wheel, because you don't want it to push on the Bakelite here on the part of the steering wheel. You want it to push on the metal part that's in the middle of the steering wheel. So we're just going to wrap it with this. With this, we're going to go ahead and use this wire. It's basically. It's just this basically, you know, electrical wire like this. You could use this, you could use bailing wire. There's a lot of things you could do. Just wrap the center of that steering wheel up with that. So we assemble this thing like this. Um, this one, mine, this part of it, the little bearing that goes on the end of here is messed up. So we just th throw a little bolt. If you can see that, a bolt inside the hole. Because the, there's normally a bearing on here. And then uh, we go ahead and center it up, tighten it down and then use the puller okay so then we got the words gonna we usually sometimes I do this by hand sometimes I use an impact um, we're gonna go ahead and try it with the impact and let's see if it doesn't center it if it does then we'll go ahead and move it from there let's see if it does the magic popped it look at that came right off you can do it by hand if you want to be really careful and let's look at the steering wheel, see if there's any damage. So if you see here, no damage. This was all there ahead of time. But if you see what we're trying to do is we were trying to center this thing so that it pushes on this part of the steering wheel instead of on the Bakelite outside. And uh, if you do happen to damage the steering wheel, um, you can use j &B Weld to repair it and then repaint it. Um, you can even actually take a... Uh, grinder and grind out all these cracks fill them with j &B weld a few coats and if you use the really good long the slow dry j &B weld and take your time sand that down um, it's pretty strong and actually works very well to restore your steering wheel and you can repaint it but this one here i think we're going to leave patina and just put it right back on the way it is be kind of cool having an original steering wheel because i don't see them in this condition very often usually have chunks out of them missing this one's pretty nice so that would be kind of cool. So 
anyway, that's how to do it without damage. We, you know, we've been pretty lucky with doing it that way. Just every once in a while, like this one, we probably could have got off with by just putting your knees underneath it and hitting the center of it with a hammer. But when you get a really tight one, then that's when you're going to want to use one of these pullers to get it off. And it works pretty well. Talk to you next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.